Okay, so you guys are probably very familiar with the gravity that acts on you, the force that pulls you towards the Earth. Well, in 1687, when Newton was studying the motion of planets and the moon, he actually discovered that our gravitational attraction occurs between any two bodies. So, say you have an object here and one here. Newton states that these two objects will attract each other based on their mass and distance apart. And this attraction applies to everything in the world, so like even um, even dust particles have their own masses and they attract to another dust particle, even us humans, we attract each other. So even we humans attract the planet towards us. So what Newton found was that the force of gravity between two objects, so Fg, Fg is directly proportional to the product of the masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. So in equation terms, this is m1 times m2 divided by r squared. And he also found that there was a gravitational constant, g. So this is Newton's law of gravitation. So dividing by r makes sense. The further, the further you are away from something, the less gravitational pull it has on you. So Imagine escaping the Earth's atmosphere. Once you get away from Earth, the gravitational pull on you is extremely low, like in inversely proportionally. So you may be wondering um, if these two FGs are the same. So say, say this was us, a human. So this was a human and this was Earth. The force that we apply on each other is actually the same, except since the Earth is like infinitely bigger, not not infinitely, but massively bigger. Uh, its acceleration towards us is like 10 to the negative 23 meters per second, so we, we barely notice this, this acceleration. But for us, since we're so small compared to Earth, we actually accelerate towards the Earth at like 9.8 meters per second squared, I mean, second squared. That's why we don't notice the Earth moving towards us. We always realize that it's us moving towards the Earth. But in reality, um, is the human and Earth are moving towards each other. So in this example, we would call this one the gravitational force of the Earth onto the human. So E on human. And we will call this one the gravitational force of the human on the Earth. Um, how we determine the value of G, this factor over here, is that in a laboratory, two known masses uh, an experiment where all the knowns were known, so like two masses were known in the experiment. So say say in the experiment they place one mass here, one mass here, and they measured the distance between them. And in the laboratory, the forces were measured on each other. But as you can tell, big problem with this experiment is that the force on each other are extremely extremely small because the masses are extremely small so as you can see if if you use this formula if the masses are extremely small F fg would be like 10 to the 10 negative i don't know like 18 like something that you can't even measure on a scale so what they did was use a, an apparatus called a torsion balance and this allowed them to measure the force so if they knew R and they knew M1 and they knew M2, they had this, they had this, they had this, and they had the force from the torsion balance. They were able, they were able to find um, G, the gravitational constant. And what they found out it was uh, they found the gravitational constant G to be 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11 newtons per meter squared on kilogram squared so as you can see um this pro this equation is not that hard to use so any physics problem when you know the masses of two objects and you know the distance apart you can find the force on them so for, for example if you have one human here and one human here and you know his mass and you know his mass and you know the distance apart you can actually calculate the force of gravity on each other and yeah that's basically all you need to know about Newton's law of gravitation